that's it. We've reached 25 days of videos. We're gonna talk about the new year and what's coming forward. Here's going into the goals for 2023. Now, last year I had my small little little yearly bujo. This was also inspired by Winter Song by S.J. Jones, by the way. So I am sad that this is now completely used up uh, and serves no more purpose because it's super pretty, but maybe I'll like, I don't know, save this and try to get new inserts. I don't know. We'll see what we can do to salvage it. But we have a new Bujo. I don't know if I can classify this as Bujo, really. It's just, it's a journal. I don't think it's really a Bujo, to per se. However, I found this gorgeous baby covered in books, just, oh yes. So pretty, has this beautiful sagey green book ribbon bookmark, very lovely, uh, that we are making into the year one. Now it's not actually done right now because more needs to be added, but I wanted to talk about the goals that I have for 2023 going in, as well as a fun new aspect of 2023 called Cauldron Prompts. Before we begin all that, we have to talk about the theme of 2023 because the theme, there wasn't really a theme for 2022. It was basically Q tries to get her life together. And when that fails, we now accept the chaos. I've accepted it. I have accepted that life does not want to cooperate and therefore I'm done fighting back and I'm just gonna let it all happen and I'm gonna let the chaos consume me. So 2023 is the year of the Chaos Gremlin. <laughs> I'm the Chaos Gremlin. As you've seen in other videos, bookshelves are in chaos order. We have a very new chaotic TBR game. I'm letting chaos run my life. I'm letting whatever happen, it's gonna happen, screw it, whatever. No plans, which I mean a little bit of plans, but not, I tried to be really structured and concrete this last year and that didn't work. I am not a being of structure, apparently. I don't, I don't do well <laughs> under that kind of pressure. So we're not doing that anymore. We are just embracing chaos. Cool, that's what we're doing. So I do have 23 goals of 2023. Now the new rules for these is I'm not letting other people kind of dictate the goals. Um, and what I mean by that is like I had the renovations was a goal last year that was highly dependent on my parents. Uh, Japan was highly dependent on Japan opening up. Uh, so we're not letting external factors really be part of the goal for the most part. There might be a couple that are. I've literally forgotten what I've already written down. But yeah, let's take a look. I have two pages here that I've already written out of what we've got, okay? So some of these are carried over, some of these are new. The first goal we have is publishing journey for Hispacac. So what we are doing with Hispacac, and if you're new here, hello, this is my, my new book that I am attempting to tra traditionally publish. I'm a self-published author, but we're gonna see where we go with this journey. Um, and it is Humane Society for Creatures and Cryptids is what Hispacac stands for. I was gonna publish it this last year, or I was gonna query, but editing took a lot longer. So now it is edited, it is polished, it's ready to go. We're gonna start the querying journey this year. But if I don't get picked up, and I don't know how many months I'm gonna wait on this. Some people query for an entire year. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna query for a certain amount of months. And if, Bob, probably by fall, I wanna say, cause I think it'd be a good fall release. I don't have an agent or I don't have any kind of like inkling of, of being picked up. I'm going to self-publish it and just have it out there. That's what's going on with Hispacac. So we're gonna attempt a bit of the, the, the traditional publishing journey. I'm not gonna go a full year though, just because I do want this book out and existing in the world. Um, we'll see. We're gonna see what happens there. Number two. Memory of the Hoopaway audiobook. So last year I did Search for the Phoenix as an audiobook. We're gonna focus our attention on Memory of the Hoopaway. Am I gonna try to do the other audiobooks in this series? Yes, but Memory of the Hoopaway is the official goal. Now that I have a better understanding of how 
creating and producing an audiobook works. In theory, this should go a little bit faster than Search of the Phoenix would, but you don't know what the world's gonna throw at you. So I'm not going to pressure myself to get all of Ashport Archives done, but I am going to pressure myself to get Memory of the Hoop Away done and out in the world. We then have Create-a-thon round two. Last year, Hala and I created Create-a-thon in August and we're definitely going to have an official round two. We had an unofficial like round 1.5 in December and that was a little fun one, but we have, we're gonna do another full month of Create-a-thon. If you don't know, this was a month of creation, creating anything, making things, fun little things that you can do. I made a book nook, I made embroidery bookmarks, I wrote short stories, all kinds of things that you create, whatever you're producing into the world counts for Create-a-thon, but no consumption, so it's not a read-a-thon. That's guild -thon. Then we do have some writing goals. Now, this last year I did word count goals. I'm not gonna do that anymore. That was too much. I wrote so many words last year. <laughs> but I do wanna finish writing two of my larger novels. Now, one of them is very close to being finished. The other one has a little bit longer, but we're going to finish writing Acing It, which is my contemporary romance, asexual romance. Um, that I've been working on all for a while now, and I will likely self-publish this one, but I wanna finish writing it. Getting that draft done, probably start the editing process for it, as well as finish writing Perfectly Respectable Vagabonds, which is my other fun satirical fantasy that I was inspired to write this last year, and I would like to complete writing that one as well. Next up, we have Clear a Credit Card. <laughs> I would like to clear one of my credit cards. That's it, it's a simple financial goal, and I have some, I have one in particular I really want to clear, I doubt it's gonna happen, um, but just one of my, my credit cards, I'd like to clear it and not have that debt on me. New phone! I really need a new phone. Hopefully this one has it crapped out already as you've been watching on the screen here. Uh, it has no space, it has really bad audio when I'm trying to record a video on it, it's terrible. Uh, it craps out a lot, it's pretty old, uh, it's a few years old. It's like, is my phone like five years old now? Almost six years old? I got this phone when Hala visited me years ago, when I was still going to school. That's how old this phone is. It's pretty old. <laughs> Next up we have Mambo Flight Training. So I want to do more training. I've started doing a little bit of training with Mambo. I would like her to be able to like fully come on command. Um, she is an older bird, so it's a little hard to train her to do certain things. Uh, she is also a stubborn bird, but I would like to have her do some flight training in the house and maybe a little bit outside in a safe controlled area. Uh, but I would like to do some flight training with her. And we have the short story anthology. So basically uh, last year, as you probably knew, I was writing a short story in a different genre every single month. I would like to polish all of those stories up and bind them together in one anthology. That's the goal. So probably if feasible, I just need to finish editing all of them all because editing them has definitely taken a long time because only Cozaway is released at this point. Update my music library. I used to be the biggest music nerd, right? I was in musicals. I loved J-pop. I used to host my own little ranking for Oricon uh, for Japanese music. I have not done that in so long because I have mostly listened to audiobooks now. When I'm driving in my car, it's audiobooks unless there's another human with me. And that's kind of where this comes from because all of my songs are very, very old on my phone. And I would like to update get some new music. I need some new tunes, you know? But I need to also organize my library because I own a lot of music and I need to organize it better. Any new music you guys want to suggest, put it in the comments, suggest a band or something. Uh, I think the newest music I gathered was when I was searching for the playlist for Hits the Cat and I discovered Wildwood Kin and I really love their sound. So you have stuff that sounds like Wildwood Kin, if you know who they are, really love them and One Okay Rock. Those are probably the two most common bands that I listen to. Very rarely do I because I'm always doing an audiobook. So I'm like, get that TBR down. But occasionally I do want to listen to music more. Coming over from last year is camping. I just didn't happen this year. I wanted it to happen. 
things fell through. The summer months where the uh, prime for camping turned out to be a bad, bad time of the year for me. I would like to go camping though. Next up is Ren Faire costume. I did not finish this last year. I would like to make my Ren Faire costume and go to Ren Faire in said costume. That's it. I bought the pattern. Don't have the fabric. So I need to get the fabric. We need to sew it together. I go to Ren Faire and have a fun time at Ren Faire. Cool. Those are the first goals. We need to turn the page here to the rest of the goals. All right, travel somewhere new. Now I said I wanted to go to Japan many, many years ago. I have given up on that dream. If it happens, it happens. I would like to travel somewhere new, somewhere I have never been before. I don't care where it is, if it's within the US, if it's not within the US, I wanna travel somewhere I haven't been before. It likely will happen in January, to be honest, because I do have an idea of, or I do have a plan where I haven't been before. So we're gonna do that. Next up, we have some dumb things. We've got zip lining adventure park. I wanna go to an adventure park. I wanna do some zip lining. It always looks fun. I wanna try it. That's it. There's plenty of places to do it here in Colorado. I've never gone. I don't have very adventurous people in my life that want to do things like that. But I do, even though I am scared of heights. Conquering fears, that's what we're doing. Hike on a mountain could also follow within camping. I could I could knock out a couple here in a, in a go. But I, I live in Colorado and I've never hiked one of the mountains here. I've hiked mountains in Japan, not in my hometown. <laughs> I'm like an anti-Colorado living here. I'm, I'm the opposite of what you would think. Next up is a money goal. It's put $2,000 in my savings. I would like to build up my savings account. I tend, I was doing really good at the beginning of last year and then things hit me like I moved and I had to dip into my savings to afford all of the expenses that come with that and car trouble stuff and health stuff. So I would like to rebuild my savings back up to around $2,000. We'll see. A pride. I have never been to pride. Pride is a weird thing for me. It always looks fun, but I'm a little scared to go to Pride. I'm asexual. I am a heteroromantic asexual. I don't feel like I have a place there, per se, uh, because people are like, well, you're just straight passing then, kind of a thing, and maybe that's true, but I'm also, I don't fit in with straight allosexuals, and that is often made very blatant to me, and oftentimes, People who find out I'm ace don't necessarily react well and tend to say very hurtful things that a lot of people like bisexuals face. We, we face very similar, uh, I don't wanna say hate, but like biases and prejudices. I've not always felt like I've had a right to be at Pride, but we do. Asexuals do have a right to be at Pride and I would like to experience it and see for myself what Pride is like. Then we've got revamp home library. I just, I want to do something with the shelves. Everything's kind of out of place. I want to kind of reconfigure this place and figuring out what's my best method. I would also like to get actual matching shelves all the way around. I have a lot of weird mismatched shelves, so I would like to revamp it and make it a full library somewhere, either in this room or the other room, because there's only two rooms in this apartment. But I'd like to do that. Teach Ian Hiragana and Katakana. This is one where it's kind of a little bit on someone else's shoulders, but I, Ian originally was like, teach me Japanese, and that's a lot to ask uh, in a year goal. So we're gonna go with the basic alphabet systems of Hiragana and Katakana, and we're gonna teach Ian that. We're gonna try to host some live streams where you can also learn how to write and read hiragana and katakana and begin your own Japanese language learning journey should you want to. Play a video game fully. I'm always jealous of people who can play video games. I can't. I cannot play video games. I'm not good at them. I try <laughs> and I fail. I don't even know like very basic commands and so I don't want to play one that's like an MMO RPG or anything because there's all these people who are very experienced and they're not usually welcoming to brand new noobs and no one is willing to teach me things so I gotta learn this on my own. I don't know what game I would love for it to be Phasmophobia but that is dependent on me upgrading my computer. That's the only game I can think of that I'm like yes I want to play this game but 
If you have a game suggestion that you think someone like me who does not know games very well would enjoy, I don't enjoy first person shooters. They make me dizzy and confused. I, I don't like the turn based game things like Final Fantasy. Not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of the willy nilly ones. I, I call them willy nilly ones. Um, but things like Stardew Valley. I don't like where it's like you cr you're collecting resources and then just like doing random. I like games with clear objectives. Okay. Very clear point A, point B kind of stuff. That's the type of game I like. I like Get to Ruman. That's my best game. It's a rhythm game. It has a certain amount of levels that you try to beat and get to the end. That's the type of game that I like. Where I can check off and see a progress bar kind of thing. That's what I like. Untitled Goose Game. I like that one. Clear objectives. All right, last three we've got ghost hunting. I haven't been ghost hunting in a while. I used to go ghost hunting. My mom, the last time I went ghost hunting was when we went to the Stanley Hotel together. I would like to go to another haunted location and do some ghost hunting. I like ghost hunting. I like ghost hunting shows. I like seeing if it's real or not. I'm a skeptical believer where I believe there are haunted places, but a lot of the times I do think when people say they're haunted, there are easily explainable things to say, no, this is not haunting, this is your heater, or, you know, <laughs> this is your creaky floor. I, I would like to go and just do some investigating. Don't have to actually find a ghost, but I have to do the investigation. That's the goal. Next up, we have two kind of, I live in Colorado and I should have done these things. Garden of the Gods and the Durango Silverton Narrow Gauge Train. Now, I think I've actually ridden this train when I was a kid, but I don't remember it. But I've never been to Garden of the Gods. I should go. <laughs> Staples of Colorado, my cousins who came out here for a vacation went and I was not with them for that because I was working, uh, but would like to go do. Do some actual Colorado things. I've lived here most of my life. I have lived here since 1991, people. Long time to do some of the basic Colorado things. But my family, we're not, we're not Coloradans. We're Minnesotans living in Colorado. We're not outdoorsy people. So a lot of the outdoorsy things that most Coloradans do, it's not what my family did. Like camping, like hiking, <laughs> like garden of the freaking gods. So those are the 23 goals of 2023. Do you already have the 23 books of 2023? They're all in here. La 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 la, if you can see them, la 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 la. There's a video for it, you can see it there. Then have the These Books Will Self-Destruct in the journal. They're all in here. There's two pages of these babies, two pages. And then we have stuff I haven't filled out yet. So I do have pages for all of the 2023 releases. I'm gonna be listing all of the indie books that I own slash acquire through the year. We've got the series tracker I haven't filled out yet, but we're gonna be tracking our series again. Uh, we have the TBR. I haven't filled out the TBR yet, even though I did already decide my January TBR. We haven't filled it in yet, but we'll, we'll put them in. The next big section of this journal is cauldron prompts. So this is what it looks like. Cauldron prompts quarter one. We'll have a section of drawn and completed. So there are eight slots for this. What is a cauldron prompt? This is my little cauldron. Inside are cauldron shaped prompts you can see. For, for example, I just dropped some. It's puppy day. So basically make a day all about my dogs. That's the prompt. We've got like TikTok every day. These are quarterly prompts. I'm going to draw eight of them to kind of spread out throughout the quarter and make these kind of little mini goals to do. So we're going to draw cauldron prompts. Now they can go back in. I kind of, once they're completed, they go back in the cauldron. We're gonna draw those right now. Let's draw some cauldron prompts and just see. If you have any suggestions for a cauldron prompt, feel free to put them in the comments. I'm always able to add more to the cauldron. But our first one, we have getaway for the weekend. Trying to schedule a time in, in January, February, or March to get away for the weekend. Just get away. It does not count for cosine because that's gonna happen in January. It's a different kind of, it's a getaway where no one bothers me. I'll have someone take care of Mambo or maybe bring Mambo with me. Depends on where I go. Cool. Next prompt we have, oh God, 
a book buying ban. So we will for a month, one of the months, January, February, or March, go on a book buying ban. So I cannot buy books for one of the months in quarter one. We've got paint by number. So I need to get a new paint by numbers and do one. I'm gonna need more paintings. I like doing them, they're fun. Then we've got the zoo. I wanna go to the zoo. Let's go to the zoo. I haven't been to the zoo in forever. It's gonna be cold, but I'll go. Okay, we've got daily vlogs. So one of the months, we're gonna do a daily vlog where I'm posting every single day. You know, like I just did for 25 days in December. Movie! Go see a movie! I don't remember the last time I saw, oh, I do remember the last time I saw a movie. I was on a date with a boy and it ended. <laughs> we saw, uh, I forget what it's called, The Lost City. We saw The Lost City. That's the last movie I saw in theaters. We have a self-care day. Have a self-care day. Just a day where I take care of myself. I do a little spa thing or whatever. Do a reading day, whatever. Things that'll make me feel better. All right, this is the last cauldron prompt. Oh God, this is hard. 100 pages a day. So I gotta read 100 pages a day in one of the months. So that's another one that's going to be, we've gotta decide which month these are. I have a D3 in here. I have a D3. We will determine who was first? You were first, you were second, you were third. Okay. Let me get my dice tower because I only roll dice now with a dice tower. So you can see, so the book buying ban, obviously one, two, three, January, February, March. The book buying ban is January. I am not allowed to buy any books in January. The daily vlog. I can't see, where are you at? Where are you at? Are you in here? It's also January. God, if the 100 pages a day is also January, I will laugh. No, it's March. Okay, in March, I need to read 100 pages a day. Every single day. Now, is there any punishment for not completing a cauldron prompt? No. Is there rewards? Also, no. The reward is doing the thing. If you think I should have rewards for it, let me know. So that's how 2023 is gonna go. We are letting chaos decide. We have some ideas for what we need to do for quarter one with the cauldron prompts. I'll be doing this every quarter and uh, seeing if I can complete those things. All of these will go back in. Should I complete them, they go back in and I can do them again. Um, kind of hoping. Now book buying ban, here's one thing that doesn't count in the book buying ban. I'm just going to put this out here. If I've already pre-ordered it and it arrives in January, that does not count because I did not, per I cannot hit the buy button in, in January. I can get books for free. Okay. It's a buying ban. So if I do not exchange money, for the book, it's fine. So I can acquire only free books in January. Got it? Got it? Okay. If you have any suggestions for a cauldron prompt, feel free to put those in the comments below. I may already have it as a cauldron prompt. There's a lot in there, but I'm always happy to see more prompts. And if you think I should actually do rewards, let me know. But I think actually a lot of these, like doing the self-care day, that's a reward, you know? Just a way for me to let chaos truly, truly dictate how I live my life. Because it's going to anyway. <laughs> what are you guys' goals for 2023? Are you guys doing any resolutions, any goals for 23? Are you doing 23 or 2023? What are you planning for yourself in 2023? I'm doing all of that. That's what the goals are. We will see if they are more manageable than what I did for myself in 2022 because I did myself dirty in 2022. I will be honest. Let me know what you guys are doing. I will see you in January for a daily vlog. Daily vlog. I hope you guys enjoy that. I haven't done a daily vlog in years. <laughs> so we'll see how the world, how it works in, in, in January of 2023. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Suggestions for daily vlog uh, content. Put those in there too, because I work a lot. 
So sometimes it's difficult to make content every single day. I feel like I've already punished myself. <laughs> That's what what's happening. I'm going to go now and you won't see me for the rest of the year. Maybe I'll stream, but this is the last video of Litmus. I am taking the rest of the month off. I'm gonna need it for January now because we've just put a big thing on us for January. So I hope you've enjoyed Litmus 2022. You'll see you next year for Litmus 2023. And that's it. That's it. Links are all in the description if you want to keep up with me on things like Discord, where I mostly live now, aside from here on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, but there's always Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. I'm on them sometimes. <laughs> and I will see you next year, cuties. Bye! this is all like just bouncy 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 dang it huh 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 uh, okay cool.